Hi, guys. In our last video, we were able to create a KDP cover using Affinity Photo. Today, we're going to show you an even easier way to create your cover using Affinity Publisher. And since we've already shown you how to download a KDP template from Amazon before, we're no longer going to show that process in this video. But in case you need a refresher on how to do that again, I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. So now, we'll go directly to Affinity Publisher. In Affinity Publisher, we're going to use the PDF version of the KDP template. Go to File, then Open. You probably won't see anything else except the PDF template. And then to get our image, go to File, then click Place. We'll use the same image we used the last time. However, we'll expand the image so that it covers both the front and back cover. Now, you see that I've moved the image layer under the layers of text. But we also need to see the borders and lines of the template so we'll move the image layer to the bottom. Then we'll select all the other layers by holding shift and adjust the transparency to 50% or lower. Make sure to lock these layers as well. Since we can now see the trim lines and borders, I would like to move the car so that I can see the car on the front side of the cover. A little resizing and moving is all I've done here. Now, I'm just using one of the text layers to write the title of the book.
I'll change that font and the size. And I'll center and move it around until it looks okay. I deleted the other text layers that I don't need and used one text layer to write the author's name. Let's move it around on the right side since there's a good space there. Next, on the back cover, we'll use this text layer for some information about the authors. And then let's pretend we're also adding the synopsis. We're not going to fill that up right now, but it will give us an idea of what you could add there. I did not delete the barcode text layer, but this is usually where Amazon or you will add your barcode. Before we save the file, uncheck the layers that we don't need to show up on the cover. Then go to File and click Export. You'll be able to see the PDF option in the pop-up window. And if you don't need to change the other information there, go ahead and click the export button. Rename the file and click save. And that's it. We now have a KDP cover for our book. So thank you for watching. Till next time.